Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. I've got my AirPods on. Those aren't supposed to be in. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my third update for my Pan That Palette for 2021, the Natasha Denona Lila Palette. Ooh, we've got, I had to go back and watch my previous update because I've made some progress since then. We've got a whole nother pan and we're very close to getting another pan. So let's go ahead and roll the slideshow of my progress up until this point. And this is my palette now. As you can see, we have new pan in the shimmer shade right down here, which in my last update, I did guess that that's the next one I would hit pan in. And we did, so we've got three very pretty pans so far. And then this bright shimmer shade right here, I think is gonna be the next one, because if you can see, there's a big dip here. And I think I'm very close to hitting pan in this shade, and then possibly this shade as well. I've been using this a lot as my um, transition for a lot of looks recently. So I spent a lot of time with this palette this last month and I've just really been enjoying using this in combination with other palettes. So I kind of want to show you just a couple of palettes I've been using with this palette. So the first palette I've been using together is with the original ABH Norvina palette. Now if we hold these up you'll see just how cohesive the color stories are. I really love specifically these mattes. So like the matte right here, the matte right here, and then the mattes right above it. Those work so well together and it's so pretty. So they just work really well together and I've just been loving going back to the original ABH formula and using it together with the Natasha Denona formula, especially I've really been liking mixing the mattes from this palette with the shimmers in this palette. So I've really loved using those two together. Another palette that I've really been liking using with this palette, oh, and I grabbed the wrong palette, hold on a second. Here we go, I got the right palette now. And this is um, from Jouer, and this is the Ultra Foil Eyeshadow Palette. This was a gift from my friend Bougie Brie. And these shimmers, specifically like this purple and this really pretty light lilac, and then like this kind of copper chrome shade, right here. I've loved using basically this row with the mattes and the shimmers from the um, Lila palette. And if we hold them side by side, you see we've got some nice complementary colors here. And these sh shimmers are just so, you know, they're foiled, they're buttery, they're beautiful. So I loved kind of getting like out of my usual comfort zone because I've noticed that there are a few looks of the Lila palette that now are kind of like my go-tos. I tend to go to those and use those, like especially on work days. Um, but this has got me to be a little bit more creative, a little bit more out of the box. So those are two palettes I've really been loving using with my Lila palette. And that's kind of been the theme of this last month. I've been using this palette a lot with some other palettes, but still making this one my main focus. I'm not including any looks with the palette in this update um, because I did just film a collab video. And the collab video should be the very next video that goes live after this video goes up on my channel. So if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed and you hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever my next video comes out. I come out with new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Fridays. So this look is one of two that I did in that collab. We basically did two looks with this palette and we picked four shades each. So this is look number one of that collab video. So if you're interested in how I got this look, check out the video that goes up on, it should be going up next Sunday. The Sunday after this video goes up is when it should be going live. Moving forward, I don't really want to set like a goal. Again, like I said in the past, I'm kind of still like towards the beginning of this project, having fun with it, really kind of stretching my wings in like the purple and the warm kind of shades in here. I really just think I'm gonna kind of focus on this trio right here because I think I'm gonna hit pan in this shade fairly soon and then this one I might hit pan in but the mattes are just so dense in this palette. I don't want to like try full steam ahead to hit pan and like get disappointed and when we're still pretty early on in the project, you know? So that's kind of where I'm just gonna focus, but I'm not gonna hit any sol I'm not gonna make any solid goals to hit pan. Um, I just think the next one I'm probably gonna hit pan in is gonna be this light one right here. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram. I posted whenever I hit new pan in any of these shades, or when I did any um, everyday looks, I posted them first to my Instagram stories. I've been doing daily looks on my Instagram stories along with updates, uh, hauls, anything that doesn't really uh, fit 
this channel because if you don't know, I tend to film my videos a bit ahead of time. So if there's anything that's kind of happening quick, you want my quick response on, check my Instagram stories, make sure you follow me there because I am very active there now. Like when I first hit pan in this new shade, I posted it to my Instagram stories first and I keep a highlight of all of my updates. So if you want to just kind of scroll through and see updates there, you can check that out as well. So I think that's going to be it for this update. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the collab video where I show this look and another look of this palette. It should be coming up soon. And let me know. What is your pan that palette for 2021? How's it going? If you had the Lila palette, what looks are you are you still reaching for the Lila palette? What looks are you coming together with? And what looks are you coming together with? What looks Ooh, chunky boy. What looks are you putting together? And whether I'm inspiring you to <laughs> pull this palette out once more. I think Rex is here. It's Sunday, so there's no mail. Oh, chunky boy, what are you doing? Come here, chunky boy. It's okay. What you barking at? What you barking at? It's okay. Oh, it's okay. I love you. I'll take a picture of him, how's how he looks right now, and post it. My little filming buddy. Okay, so I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.